Hey guys, wanted to go ahead and do a video here. Um, basically, long story short, I'm speaking on the baby blue bottle, and um, this is the non-SL version, but I wanted to uh, relay a question to everyone here, as well as talk about the answers I've gotten already, and to go from there. But basically, here's what's going on. A lot of voice actors will ask for a warm and dark sounding condenser microphone at a budget price. And they ask, like, what would you recommend? Because like, you know, especially a lot, uh, like a lot of, um, I would say voice actresses, they're like, you know, I have a kind of a really high pitched kind of sibilant voice. Like what microphone would you recommend? I want sort of a darker and warmer sounding microphone, but um, I don't have a lot of money to spend. Voice actors, I don't know if you know this, but voice actors for character work, they don't use dynamics. This of course is a dynamic mic. The way it works really is you have to talk very close to it. It's a, a vocal mic. The problem is, is that Remember, you're not talking half an inch from somebody's eardrum. You want to be heard the way people normally hear you. Hear you. That's the way a microphone is supposed to be. You look at a lot of pictures of the big stars in Hollywood using condenser microphones. They're not right in front of them. And that's the proper way to use this. They use condensers, but they want a warmer and darker sounding, like a smoother sounding condenser microphone that's affordable. And what, we, what I would find is that my list was very short. It just, I didn't have much to recommend because they're usually pretty expensive. Like there's a lot of dark and warm condenser microphones, no doubt, but they're like expensive, like a thousand dollars. They're like a really, really expensive microphones. There's not a lot of cheap and budget ones that I could recommend. Um, but let me go over like some of the ones I've, I've always known. There's the baby blue bottle, which right now, I'm talking right now is at a huge discount of $199, right? And I'm gonna get to a point pretty soon. Then you've got, then that's it. <laughs> because, the, because the Warm 47 Junior is around $300 today. The Stellar X2 Vintage is like $269. The Octava MK319, as much as I love this microphone, this is not a blind buy recommendation because you, if you want to fix the resonance issues with this microphone, you have to take it apart. And like, I wouldn't recommend it. This is not a blind buy recommendation. Then what else you've got? You've got the Shure KSM32. That's like $300 used, $500 brand new. And then you've got, you know, the ethos, which is close to $500. The point I'm trying to say is there are none. And, but I wasn't sure. So I asked a bunch of audio engineers on Reddit and I asked them a question. Can you guys recommend a, a really good warm and dark sounding condenser microphone? Something like the baby blue bottle, which is on sale right now for $199, but something like that. And what do you recommend? In the end, you know what they all said? They all said, Okay, so the, the answers came down to three, like four answers. Number one, there are none. Go get a ribbon microphone. Go get a dynamic microphone. And I'm like, that was not the question I was asking. I'm asking for a condenser. And then a lot of the people who knew better, they were like, there is none at that price point. And here's why. Actually, that green trace, that is the sound of most Chinese microphones. Um, the reason is that the Chinese factories... Uh, when they started making pro audio gear, they were looking for an inexpensive way to do it because they're about mass market. And of course the people who- Part of it likely is it's easy to add warmth, but near impossible to add detail it's because it's easier to fool beginners with a clear budget microphone by just boosting the frequency response in the high end. More high end equals clear to a lot of beginners. So a lot of them end up doing the same thing when they mix vocals. To be a good sounding warm and dark microphone, there's no boosted high end to rely on. You need a good microphone, so you can't fall back on cheap tricks. It has to be a solid capsule. There aren't a lot of dark voiced condenser microphones at the price point you mentioned, partly because of the mismatch between the capsule design and the electronics in typical Asian factory mics. And partly because such mics don't win five minute shootouts at Guitar Center. To quote Leonard Cohen, you want it darker? Well, that will cost you. From what I understand, it's pretty easy. It's pretty easy to make a hyped, overly bright capsule. Tuning it so that it isn't super bright requires additional time and effort. And as someone said, there's an imperative to dazzle the newbies with something that sounds super crisp and clear in comparison to an SM58. It's also much cheaper and easier to make a crisp sounding condenser microphone than a warm one that doesn't sound like shit. And then I got a million responses saying, why not use a right ribbon? Why not use a dynamic? You know, like I was saying, 
we don't like voice actor character for character work they don't use dynamics they use condenser microphones that was the reason why right other thing is all right so this is me coming in with a sure sm7b and i'm trying to relay a point here but it's going to be hard for me to explain this so see how with a sure sm7b it's pretty much proximity effect 24 7 all day i mean this is how you pretty much sound this is where it sounds best but this doesn't sound natural imagine if you will like an animation character is walking in the room and trying to talk to a group of people and you sound like this you know, like, hey guys, what are you guys doing? This is, is when someone is watching the animation, you sound like a walking radio. This doesn't sound, this is, and this is exactly how an engineer explained it to me. He says, imagine if you will, you're driving a car and you're with a friend and the radio is playing in the car. When you use a Sure SM7B, you sound like a radio in the car, but you don't talk, you don't sound like the person next to you. Now I'm going to switch to a condenser. All right, so this is the condenser, and this is how it sounds. So when so imagine like so there's an animated character right there. He's like, "Hey, how's it going, guys? Dude, I thought it was awesome, man!" Right? So that that sounds like that sounds like a person, right? As opposed to, "Hey, guys, what do you guys think, man? That was awesome, dude." <laughs> do you guys do you, do you guys hear that? Like that's people in real life don't sound like this. You know what I mean? You can totally tell that one piece of dialogue within a scene was recorded in a studio space and not on location because the on-screen actor will be saying some part of their dialogue and then it will sound something like this and that takes away from the overall story and brings you the realization i learned is there are very few budget dark and warm condenser microphones that are good like because you know it's just very few. Now, I will go over one I think is, you know, a little bit underrated, and I do like it, but it's it's not um, it's not better than the Baby Blue Bottle, and it's the Mackie EM91C. I like this because this is like $49. Definitely has a dark. All right, you're just coming right, here, right back here. But this is the EM91C. This is $49. Um, and I would say this is one of very, very, very few dark and warm condenser microphones that are budget. This is actually $49 and I think is one of very few um, that are out there. I think it's really heavily underrated. Um, however, you know, there are problems with it. You know, it, it, uh, it clips pretty easily even before the preamps kick in. And also, um, it, it sometimes lacks a lot of clarity, so you do need to use some EQ, but it can sound really good with EQ. And remember, this is only $49, but I'm gonna, now going to go right back and feature the baby blue bottle. But the point I'm trying to say is, there's a, it's a very short list. To make a warm and dark sounding microphone that has detail, that takes work. That takes engineering. That costs more money. A lot of these mic companies don't want to do that. And that's why there's so few of them at a budget price. Because, you know, make no mistake, there are definitely warm and dark sounding condenser microphones. It's just that, you know, they usually cost a lot of money. But to find ones at a budget price like this is rare. And that's this microphone here. You know, so yeah, that's all I got to say. You guys have a great one. Okay, bye.